Hello, everyone. Welcome to the Digital Forensic Series. Uh, my name is Jared. I'm here with Heather, Paul, and Josh. Um, we wanted to come to you today and bring some clarity to Celebrate Insights. Uh, there's a lot of questions going around uh, about it, and we just want to make sure that we're on the same page, um, that you have all the answers that you need, uh, and understand what your 2024 is going to look like as you transition over to Insights. Now this uh, dig four is gonna be just a snippet of some sort of frequently asked questions that we're getting. Um, but after this, soon after this, you're gonna see fundamentals matters uh, coming, specifically covering insights, uh, ask the expert videos. Heather and I are doing a specific recording uh, sort of walking through uh, Celebrate Insights uh, and plenty more of, of content as needed. Again, we like to keep our finger on the pulse of the community and understand what, what you guys need to hear, what you need to see. Um, so we will adjust as, as we need and, and bring to you the content uh, to get you through this transition. Now, uh, we sort of broke this up into a few different pieces here today, um, talking through the different facets of insights. So first, we're going to start with Paul. Um, if you can help us understand a little bit about uh, the UFED and premium transition and what that looks like as customers are now going to be using insights. So the thanks, Jared. Uh, so the transition from uh, UFED to Insights uh, for those using UFED kind of day to day is going to be huge. Uh, you're going to be have access to uh, pretty much full file system extractions for all the devices that have been supported in premium in the past and now combined with UFED. So kind of unlocking all that evidence, all that data that you're going to be able to gain access to from iOS to Android. Uh, there's going to be upgrade paths as well. So whether you have a touch or four PC and the transition uh, is going to be available to move from that into insights, giving you those capabilities to gain access to that. So not only giving you access to the extraction capabilities, but also uh, in the unlocking capabilities as well. On top of that, um, it's more than just uh, the full file system access for the uh, from the UFED side. You're also going to have access to um, streamlining. So streamlining your investigation. So what that's going to be is uh, it's going to be be able to push extractions right from the uh, the extraction component into the decoding piece. So kind of making your workflow much more efficient, much more quicker, and much more uh, uh, get data to the people that need it right away. And that's going to be also at the endpoint level and also at the agency level. So it kind of gives you multiple options for the different types of agencies that this kind of that this is going to feed into. You're, are, you're also going to have things like triage um, and also lab management pieces, right? So to be able to manage your uh, your licenses, your versioning, all that's going to be bundled into this. So it's a big offering. Uh, it's a big improvement and a uh, a big plus pretty much for gaining, gaining access to as much data as possible. Thank well, you. Do you think you would do an, I beg to defer on streamline and triage and what all that stuff means. That might be a good idea. I think that's a fantastic idea. Okay. So sorry, Jared, I interrupted. No, that's okay. You're allowed. Um, so Paul, you, you, you said towards the beginning, full file system, uh, pretty much for every device that we support. Uh, so with that, I, I guess I can kind of envision a, a UFED only user uh, pressing that e extraction button and opening physical analyzer and seeing huge numbers. Um, <laughs> I just want to make sure everyone understands the, the full file system is getting you um, the most data that we essentially have access to. And so we're bringing all of that to that sort of regular UFED experience. Uh, with this transition. So when Paul said full file system, it's going to be a huge change for, for a lot of people. Those uh, previous premium users, it's you know kind of streamlining all the things that you're used to. Uh, but it's pretty exciting to see some of this stuff coming to people for the first time. Um, and it'll be really interesting to see that, I guess, those eyes pop when they see the hundreds of thousands of locations instead of, you know, just a handful, things like that coming through. Yeah, exactly. And stuff that you don't have access to in a normal advanced logical or a backup file. I mean, the it's night and day. The The numbers speak for themselves, uh, not only just for the size, but the amount of granular data that you have access to um, for any type of investigations you're working, whether it's uh, law enforcement side, whether it's private sector. I mean, the, the amount of data that you have access to from a full file system, um, it's not comparable uh, for what we do in the advanced logical. Even yeah. access to like simple wall files. The other night I spent two and a half hours looking for a Bluetooth connection that's probably sitting in the wall. And I didn't get it because of that it's logical. Two and a half hours <laughs> to get nothing. There you go. <clears throat> All right, Josh, uh, sort of kicking over to the physical analyzer side, 
Um, if you can help us understand a little bit about uh, the changes that uh, are coming, uh, what sort of the, I guess, the truth of, of what's happening here is this, as we transition physical analyzer over to uh, insights. Yeah, I mean, it's, I, I'm going to start by talking about the meme that Alexis put out, uh, the the Friday with the Scooby and he's pulling the mask out and uh, insights <laughs> is actually PA ultra. <laughs> to some degree, that is true. Uh, however, there are some things that are going to be an insights that we just can't do in ultra. It's just fact of the matter, right? Um, you know, we started, we released uh, media origin with, you know, with ultra back in version eight, six, I think, but we wanted to take that a little bit further. So, uh, it was, it made sense to have physical analyzer kind of take that next iterative step, um, you know, regardless of what version you put on it, uh, it just needed to evolve. Uh, you know, I was working with a customer yesterday, as a matter of fact, and uh, it's, he was working with a extraction in PA7 and it crashed on him. Uh, some of the changes that we've made in Insights uh, kind of helps mitigate some of those crashing and whatnot. You know, now you don't have to leave your workstation running overnight. You can close it up come back the next morning, uh, you know, open it back up and all of your work is still there. Uh, but I, I do want to uh, mention too, I, I told Heather I would share this story uh, yesterday. Uh, I was prior to Celebrite, I was with Kroll, uh, which is a private consulting firm. And one of the things I was asked to do while I was there was to evaluate uh, PA8 um, at the time and basically should we go ahead and migrate to this or should we keep, keep PA7 on, you know, on the uh, virtual machines that we had. And after driving oh, it for, uh, this was right, this was right after it, it was released. So uh, first part of 22, I believe. Okay. So like 8.0, 8.1. Yeah. It was like 8.1, I yep. think. Okay. Um, and so, and thank you for clarifying that. Sure. Uh, so after driving it for a few weeks, I went back and I was like, I don't think it's, there yet i just don't think it's quite ready uh there were some features that were in seven that were missing and you know there were some performance issues but and it's come a long way uh since those early days uh you know when i started here at celebrate last year uh i made a point to go ahead and i had been pa7 user up until that point i went ahead and i was like all right if i'm going to be testing this thing, i need to get familiar with it and now i don't i hardly ever fire up seven anymore uh eight is just I've gotten used to it. Uh, you know, I've developed that muscle memory that we talk about. I can navigate the the interface. And so I certainly understand that um, there's some hesitancy out there to, to migrate from seven because that's what you're used to, right? Cops hate change. People in general hate change. Uh, and so when you start changing your, you know, your forensic software, it could be a little bit painful because some things may have moved. It may not work exactly as previous version. I, I completely understand that sentiment, but um, you know, there are things that we want to do with a uh, physical analyzer that we just simply could not do with the architecture of seven. So, you know, that's kind of where insights comes into play is it's allowing us to kind of take that next step to provide features like media origin and in, in some upcoming releases, we've got some pretty nice things on the books uh, for 24. So I, I can't really discuss them, but uh, they just simply wouldn't be possible in seven at all the, the 24 roadmap for physical analyzer is is pretty exciting so yeah wish we could just put it on the screen but we can't uh but it, yeah, yeah. It's, it's a lot of good things yeah it's gonna it's gonna be pretty neat i mean it's a lot of it has come you know some of that has come through uh you know art some of internally some things that we thought we would be nice some customer feedback and some of the stuff came from the ctf uh yeah. just you know we went in and put it on the roadmap uh couldn't do it in 23 but it's on the roadmap for 24. Nice. Um, so, obviously, we are we're sort of in the midst of of a rebrand, um, new emblems and and names and things, and it's you know fun to poke at it. Uh, and oh, I'm I'm so used to that thing. And I think if you looked at the PA logo, it's like a like a piece of paper, like being shredded or changed into smaller things. Like if you really yeah. look at the thing that you're used I'm to. I'm glad you know what it is, Jared. <laughs> Oh, exactly. Right. So, um, you know, it's one of these things just, you're so used to the thing and, and Josh, you said about muscle memory. And I remember after, uh, having switched over to, uh, 
PA Ultra, of course now it will be uh, Insights, that after a few months, I was like, I can't imagine waiting the hours. It's just, just the, the workflow improvement that, that came with it uh, made me kind of forget, like, I can't, I can't imagine waiting and crashing and, and like the, the little things that made the days so long or painful uh, sometimes with seven. Yeah. Um, I, one of the things I've, I've noticed too is, you know, when questions come in from discord or from customers through stump us or dream team uh, you know, I don't have to wait for an extraction to process. Yeah. I can just open one up. And I, I think I would like to think that the examiners have this, a similar benefit there. Like, you know, if you think about it, you've got a case getting ready to go into trial and prosecutors calling you all in a panic because it's Friday and trial starts Monday. And I, I got these 20 questions I need to answer. Well, I don't have to reprocess it. I can just open it back up and answer yeah. the questions. Yeah. And I mean, from a, from a workflow standpoint, um, all of the, the waiting essentially at this point is going to be at the extraction phase uh, and then decoding. And then once you're finished, you're good to go. And Insights is bringing a streamline to that whole process. So essentially the the manual waiting process is almost down to zero. Which yeah. Is and Paul mentioned, Paul mentioned Paul that Paul. streamline and that's something that we could yeah. do if we were right. still in seven. Exactly. Heather, talk to us about your career and the the name changes and the, the things like yeah. this that you've experienced, you know, it, it happens every few years. It's okay. Fun to talk. Yeah. So I, I actually am a part of the marketing team at Celebrate. Um, it doesn't mean that I make the decisions on these things at all for the record, but I remember when I first joined Celebrate, geez, it's been, this summer will be five years. When I first joined Celebrate, they threw around the idea of renaming physical analyzer. Because it was, I think it was UFED physical analyzer. And they were like, it should be celebrate physical analyzer. It really has nothing to do with the UFED. And I flat out told marketing, who cares? You can call it UFED. You can call it celebrate. You can call it insights. People are going to call it PA. It's still PA. It's going to be PA 10. So whatever we call it, whatever little icon is there. I remember freaking out when it went from the blue icon to orange. I didn't like it. I was, I know my desktop. I know I'm going to search for a blue icon. But I had no idea that it's a piece of paper even shredding. I don't, clearly the I stands out a little bit more. So we're not going to hide from the I. But branding, I think whenever you want to repackage something and make it special and make it have extra things, if you just said, oh, this is UFED, people are like, well, how is it different? You have UFED, I have UFED. If you can say I have insights with UFED, that is going to what, I guess that's what's going to make it different. But here's a thing. So if you go back to the meme that Josh was talking about, when I record Tip Tuesdays, you're going to see I've recorded so many for Ultra. And I did not switch to PA8 until the CTF. So I would say around August is when I finally gave up seven and put my faith into eight. And I, just like Josh said, I've only been using eight since then. Um, every Tip Tuesday I recorded, I think I usually say like, here in PA Ultra, I want to show you this, or here in PA 8. All of those are still going to exist. And what marketing is going to do is put a little banner saying this was recorded in PA Ultra. It is the same for Insights. Because it's not that we're trying to sell you something brand new and pretend it's something different. There's just going to be, in this Tip Tuesday, if you're using Insights with PA 10, you're going to see this feature, this feature, this feature. And as Josh was saying, people who are uncomfortable with fumbling around, there will be an entire fundamentals matter there's also going to be mini, like five to seven minute, how to keyword search, how to navigate folder view, um, how to export files, simple things that we all do that may look a little bit different. There will be a video for everything. So it's the same PA. PA is not dead. PA for life. I, You know what? I'm from Pennsylvania. I should get like a PA, a PA <laughs> tattoo. Because if you're from Pennsylvania, you say PA, it's physical analyzer. I'm a, a PA life. for life. <laughs> but I will, so, I honestly, I will give a little shout out to, um, Lisa Cole is my boss and I will say I worked with Nate, who is a brilliant designer that we have here at celebrate and comes up with all this creative stuff for us and our community that is being released shortly. The one Oh one, um, some people had some, what do I want to call some eyesight into that? What do you like that? You like that? Some insight into the community, but the community also has the eyeball. And 
the reason is I want us as a team of people that do this work every single day. We see everything. We're aware of everything. It's kind of like when you're little and you hear like your mother has eyes on the back of her head. Like we have that eye that sees everything you do at all times. So you will see the 101 also has a different eyeball, but I was first. <laughs> it was ours first. It was mine and Nate's first. And it was just so cool that it had to be stolen from. But in all seriousness, the 101 is going to be announced shortly. Um, if you hit our landing page next week, you are going to see that we are running our first ever global summit. It's going to be the C2C close or case to closure summit in Washington, DC in August. Um, a call for speakers is going out as well. So we want to hear your talks. We want to hear from you. Um, there's going to be a digital justice awards ceremony that we're holding as well. Um, Operation Find Them All with Jared's Uplift series is coming. We have more Dig For, I Beg to Defer, Tip Tuesdays, webinars, blogs, the notebook, all the things. So all the things are going to simplify this for you. Um, as I said earlier, I suggested to Paul to do specific I Beg to Defers on what these things mean, how you can leverage them, why it makes a true difference. Uh, Jared mentioned earlier, we're doing a webinar talking through all the statistics, all the marketing stuff you've seen. Jared and I are going to put the why behind it. Yeah, I want to make one clarification. Um, for anyone that opens uh, Insights PA, it looks, it's not something new. Like the, the user interface is not, not like this shocking experience, right? You're going to be just as comfortable as you were in seven and that maybe tiny bit of change to eight. Um, and so it's, there's not some shocking change. Um, for UFED, UFED only customers, you are going to experience uh, essentially what was the premium interface, right? So we, we're a little bit of a change from the extraction point. Um, but Paul, you can probably attest to this. <clears throat> we put a ton of effort into simplifying that yeah. to like as mm -hmm. few clicks as possible so that you don't have to know much or guess. It's like devices plugged in, ready to go. Uh, so nothing shocking coming with, with this change other than hopefully some some new features uh, that you'll be excited about uh, and, and all good things, but we, we won't, won't leave you confused along the way. Uh, we will be here with content and, uh, and support to make sure that everything is as clear as it can be. And if we need to make something specific, we'll do it. All right. Thank you, everyone. We hope to see you back for the next dig floor. <laughs>